What the hell? What the hell just happened? Jumping's not gonna make you what the hell just happened? Did you guys see that? I was trying to move that body, and it just went flying. What the hell? It flew over the wall. I now have a phantom body somewhere on the other side of this wall that I will never be able to clean up. Um, oh, I really hope that doesn't add detriment. I really do hope that having the bodies back here does not add to the unhappiness of people coming into my shop. Because I now have an uncleanable corpse that I can't actually do anything with. Oh crap. I need to kind of be a bit careful here. I don't want it just to go flying off into the nowhere. Um, where did that body go? <laughs> it just fell, fell through the floor. Holy crap. Um, maybe doing this is not such a good idea. My idea for a corpse pile is not so good. Uh, maybe it'll just have to be a skeleton pile. The skeletons seem to be able to just pile up a little bit. There we go. It'll just be a skeleton pile. Corpse piles don't work. I think the muscle and the flesh is a bit too much for the ground to handle, so they just kind of sink into the world. Ugh. Well, there goes my dream of having a corpse pile. At the very least, I have a nice pile of skeletons. Um, if I ever do get a necromancer, and they're in the market for a... Uh, human remains to work with, I will be able to accommodate them. Yes, that is the reason I am doing it. It's not out of some creepy desire to have a massive pile of corpses, a trophy room of all the people I have murdered who have tried to steal from me. No, it is future planning, future proofing my business for when the necromancer starts showing up. Haha, <laughs> that's the story and I'm sticking to it. Damn it. Okay, let's start restocking our shelves, and then I'll see what it is I need. Okay, there we go. I got a massive influx of stuff. I am back down to 500 gold, uh, but I have tons of stuff in my inventory. Unfortunately, my shop appeal have got, has gone down to 55% which is not good at all. I think it is entirely due to my corpse pile. So unfortunately, as much as I love it, I think it is, I have to get rid of it because I can't have half a 50% approval rating for my house, my place, because if that is the case, is it 66%? That other 4% is the two corpses that just disappeared off into the nothingness. Damn it. I'm never going to be able to get rid of them, am I? They're just back here, floating in the ether, haunting my place. Oh no, I'm being haunted by evil, evil corpses. Damn it. And I'm never going to be able to get rid of them. They're never going to go away. One of them went flying into the back, over the wall. They're, they're not even inside my place. They're over the wall on the other side. Whoever owns that building over there, it's their problem now. But no, I'm the one who gets the problem. I'm the one who has to deal with the unhappiness of people coming into his shop. I'm sure it's the smell. There's a, sm there's a smell of people rotting corpses on the other side of the wall, drifting over the wall. I mean, granted, I did put them there, but still, ugh, kind of sucks. Ah, oh, well. Let uh, day 15. Halfway through autumn, halfway through the fall season. Uh, well, all my stuff is restocked, all my stuff is repaired. So it's basically going to be a... Fair, ooh, wait, no, yeah, not everything is restored. I need to restock all this uh, wild growth stuff once I find it. Completely forgot about this. Uh, but you see what I mean about not having enough money? If I would have bought this extra expansion last time, I would not have had enough to restock my shelves. And then I would have just been stuck with whatever I had on the shelves. And I would have had to keep rebuying during out throughout the day instead of... Uh, just sticking around. Now, oh, well. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick here throughout the morning period since it's usually a fairly slow and then come back later once things pick up.
Ah, early morning is the quiet time of the day. Not really all that much happening. No real hectic hustle and bustle of the city life. No, it's just a couple random people coming in for a chess piece here, a sword there. Not a huge rush for uh, mana health potions this time, which is unfortunate, because those were selling out fairly fast and well, but, ah well. Uh, let's see, this guy is fairly well equipped. I wonder if he has anything he wants to sell from his adventures. Do you have anything? Ooh, he's got a chicken wing, a random chicken wing. Why would I want to buy his chicken wing? I don't know, but he is fairly well equipped. Leather, leather, plain sword. It would be nice if uh, he had something better than just a random chicken wing for uh, what he wanted to sell me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, apparently that's all he has on him. That's going to be his lunch, but I could have bought it from him for two gold. Uh, I'm not gonna buy the guy's lunch. I mean, he needs his food. One cannot live on health potions alone. I mean, you can, technically. You can just keep drinking them, keep chugging them, and they will keep you alive, technically. But there's no nutritional value in these things. They're mostly water and magical essence, or whatever the hell is put into it. I mean, it's probably just snake oil. It's a placebo effect. Probably just sugar water or something like that. Uh, don't tell my customers I said that. Because I don't want them to know that's probably what it is. Because, yeah, that is probably what it is. It's totally what it is. It's just a mind over matter type thing. They think it's going to work, so it works. Ah. Oh, there we go. Huh. So far, so good. Uh, no real high amount of thievery today. He says as he suddenly gets an influx of like 50 thieves. Uh, anyone thieving? Anyone gonna thieve from me? No? No? Ah! There we go. Anything? Ah, oh, damn it. I really wish I, I would have gotten a mushroom quest or something. That would have been a lot better. All I'm getting is people buying random crap and no one buying my weeds. I really do need to sell those weeds. I need to move them. I need to sh get them off of the shelves. Mainly because I have a quest for them. And the sooner I get that quest done, the better. Because it means I'll be able to unlock some new stuff in the skill tree. But no. No one is being happy. Happy, happy times with the weed. No. Oh, damn it. Come on. Oh, there we go. One person bought a weed. One person singular person bought one singular weed and my floor is getting filthy here oh, look at all this trash how did do, how does so much trash get in here well there are plenty of leaves on the ground so I can kind of uh, understand where it's all coming from but damn it I need to get some floor mats or something I do need to do that but uh yeah I have to unlock them with points. And there's just so much other stuff I want to unlock first. Before floor mats. Because floor mats would be nice, but not the high priority. I would much rather get like the adventurer. So I could, uh... Ooh, here we go. I need to replace those boots. Come on, boots. Boom, boom, boom. People are loving my boots. Uh, it's nice because... Ooh, what the hell, man? You know you have someone inside you. Uh, he's a, a woman was trapped inside that man. Uh, zap. There you go. And there's another one. Two thieves in a row. And damn it. Ah, uh, that's really gonna cut in on my uh, happiness, isn't it? All these corpses. And the corpses that I can't get to in the back room because they fell through the floor. Oh, that was such a bad idea. Why did I think a corpse pile in the backyard was such a good idea? I still think it's a good idea. It's something I want to do, but I can't because it bugged out. And now I have two corpses disappeared underneath the ground that I can't even see. 
making the whole thing a moot point. Even if I had a huge corpse pile, it would just disappear. Oh, that's so sad. I wanted a corpse pile. I will never have my delicious, wonderful corpse pile to creep people out as they come into my shop. And there is a thief right about here that is running away that I need to kill. Ah, damn it. I'm going to have to remember that corpse there. So I don't leave it there to just rot away. I mean, it is bones. Bones don't really rot away. They kind of just decay slowly over time. I mean, they are the last things to decay. So, even if I left it there, they would still be there years, even decades, centuries even. Huh? Oh, crap. Come here. Gotcha. Oh, another health potion thief. Really? Just a normal health potion. You got anything for sale? No. You're not even interesting. You got nothing. Yeah. You literally have absolutely... Oh, come on. Come on, man. I'm standing right there. I was standing right there. Ugh. Go away. Go away, you stupid thieves. Again, another one. Another thief. Stealing a mushroom. Freaking mushroom head, guys. Bop. And that one was stealing a weed. Stealing my weed. Oh, Not buying my weed. Uh, any, if, if stealing my weed actually countered for the quest, I wouldn't mind it. I have to say that. Someone stealing my weed, if it actually counted for the quest, it would be perfectly fine. Because then I would get some points for it. The gold, I, I can do without the gold. But... No credit for that quest is what really irks me. Ugh. Oh, come on. I need some time, a little bit of free time, just to restock my shelves. Here we go. I'm so well. Uh, well, it is getting towards evening, almost night time. It has been a fairly long and stressful day, as evidenced by the sheer number of corpses that are out here and all the people I was forced to kill. Oh, look at this. Okay. And there's and still there is no one who wanted to sell anything to me. And I am nearly out of stock. All I have left in my inventory is a few random things, a couple swords here, a bunch of healing mana potions and healing potions and stuff like that. Ah. Uh, Okay, we are back in the build phase. We have 8,000 gold. It is once again time for the Night Stalker to make his rounds uh, after I sweep up all these corpses so I don't forget about them. And then I will head back, see about building up some more in that room, and restocking my shelves. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> it's a massive helmet. Stealth helm. Okay. I'm guessing that's a rogue item. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have rogues unlocked yet. How many points do I actually have yet? I have 63. Not enough to even unlock rogues yet. So, yeah. Oh. Ooh, what is this? We have a gold-plated shield. It's not like a solid gold shield, which would be awesome. No, it's a gold-plated shield. Uh... So, yeah, uh, this makes a bit more sense. I mean, you would think a gold-plated shield would not weigh nearly as much. I mean, it looks like it's made out of wood with some gold embossing. So, yeah, not too bad. Uh, doesn't sell nearly... It sells for about half as much as a solid gold shield did. I mean, how does that even make sense? A solid gold shield was 500 That's selling for 250 280 Oh. Okay, let's put this helmet up over here. I'll sweep up, I'll repair, and I'll take a look at what we can put over here. Because we have 8,000 gold. Uh, what do I actually want to turn this place into? Do I want this to be like the potion area where I have all the shelves of potions and stuff? That could be good. I could have like the walls just lined with like potion racks and stuff like that. Um, Maybe you have tables here. So yeah, let's take, actually take a look at this. What do I have? I don't want those. Those are crap. 
I've got these, I've got tables, I've got hat racks, I got those. Um bot dock I don't even have unlocked yet. Weapon rack, hmm. Uh not unlocked. That's five thousand gold. Way too much right now. So yeah, let's put up some let's put some of this stuff up. Put like Two tables here, one here, and one here. This is right, isn't it? It's not like it's lined up pretty well. Looks like it. And then I will have like maybe, uh, what can I have in the middle here? Mm. Let's leave it open. And then I will have some shelving right here in the middle, like right about here, bop, with a bunch of potions on them. There, kind of using the floor as a guide here. There. And then I can have another row directly opposite of it. Just rotate it a little bit. And right about there. Boom. And then I can have just a bunch of potions and stuff in here. All my potions. Seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. Whether or not it is a good idea, I don't know. Having this entire room just dedicated to potions. And then I can have, like, uh, more gloves and stuff. Just taking up space in here. There we go. So let me just grab up all these potions. I'll leave the healing potions. In fact, I might dedicate this entire side to healing potions. But all the mana potions, all the fire resist potions that are just kind of taking up space and doing nothing. I'm just going to grab them, dump them in there. In fact, I might be able to dedicate gloves ex exclusively on this side, which is what I wanted to do in the beginning, and then have an entire shelf of gloves, have an entire shelf of the normal gloves, a shelf of magic gloves, and then this is going to be my mana potion thing right here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. And then I can stick... All the stuff that I really don't know about, like this, I can stick in there, I can stick it on a table here, since no one ever comes in to buy it, uh, this I can stick in there, since no one ever comes to buy this either, boom, and I can just get this stuff out of here, since no one ever wants it, no one ever buys it, and I can rededicate it to just standard normal weapons, which is what people really want, boom. And, uh, where's that other one? Where is it? Should be in my inventory somewhere. Boom. There we go. And, uh, boom. Haha. -ha. And then I can stick all this other junk in there once I really... In fact, I can do that right now. I can take all this junk that no one ever buys. Because it's too high level for them. It's too expensive for them. Or, they're just too cheap to buy it. And then I can stick it all in there and then restock all my shelves with standard issue loot. Um, okay, here we go. I'm just going to repurpose this place to be a bit more of this stuff. Uh, these gloves are completely worthless, so I'm just going to restock them in the back room where they will be out of the way. And anyone who actually wants them will be able to come here and take a look at them. There we go. Uh, now I do need to restock on all my potions because I am running low on a lot of them. Uh, I did have another enough of here to get a full stack of healing and mana potions. So now I just need to buy up a bunch of stuff, get everything restocked, and then let's see. Do I have enough to unlock anything at all of real use? I don't think so. Uh, no. Oh well. 
So I guess I just have to wait until that that uh, quest gets done, or I just get enough po points to be able to unlock something good. So yeah, I'm just gonna buy up a bunch of stuff as I can, and then restock, and then come back next time. Because I've been going for like an hour now, so it's about time for me to take a break. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? What? Oh, what is it? what is this? I'm not really sure. I think this is my inventory. I never noticed that before. Holy crap, I never noticed that this was my inventory. Uh, it doesn't actually show me how much I have, though. Does it? No. Oh, well. Okay, well, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been more of Shopkeep. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.